In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to use the no script HTML element and why it's so beneficial and why probably every website should have this. So the no script element basically displays text if a user visits your website and they don't have JavaScript enabled in their browser. Okay, so then you can add a text element and some text inside it that explains to the user that they are going to have a much better experience if they actually have JavaScript enabled. Now you might think to yourself, how many people don't have JavaScript enabled these days? Well, sometimes you can actually disable it by mistake. You have to remember that most people are not tech savvy and there are many reasons that people could disable JavaScript by mistake, or maybe they did it because they heard something about you can block pop up ads on annoying websites by disabling JavaScript, blah, blah, blah. But the problem is that when you do that, you're also disabling a lot of cool features that JavaScript enables, right? So JavaScript is basically an enhancement layer to a website, but it shouldn't be required in order for the website to work, right? So how does this display? Well, it doesn't display now because JavaScript is enabled in my entire browser. But if I go to the debug mode here on CodePen, right, you can see there's no text here. But if I go to the lock icon, and I click on site settings, and then I go to JavaScript, right here, click on the drop down, click block. Now I'll have to reload my browser, like so. And there the text is right. And that's because now JavaScript is disabled only in this tab, not on the in the entire browser. Now, of course, any website should be you know, for accessibility purposes, your, your website should be usable without JavaScript, right? So if I go to my website, of course, I'm going to show you that I follow my own example here. This website now has JavaScript enabled, this is a react website, right? Now, there's a lot of advantages of having react, right? It, it, it's blazing fast, there's so many advantages. However, it's not necessary to use this website. So if I click on the lock icon here, and I disable JavaScript again, just like before, and I reload the page, like so, you can see the website still works, right? I can still browse, I can still do what I want, right? Basically, however, there is an exception, you might notice that the website is already way slower than it was before, right? But I can still use it. But if I click on this toggle theme icon, it doesn't work. And that's because this requires JavaScript. So this is an enhancement to my website, but it's not something that's required for people to use the website, right. And I think all websites should be like this. Now you might have noticed then that I'm a massive hypocrite, right, because I actually don't have this in my on my own website, right, it doesn't show up when you disable JavaScript. I will actually add it now after this video. Uh, but I won't make a big deal out of it as in I don't want make it as big and take up the entire uh, top part of my website because that's going to look bad. However, I will uh, make a, a, a small uh, label that that explains to the user that they can still use the website, but they will get a better experience if they enable have JavaScript enabled in their browser. And you will be surprised by how, by how many people who don't actually know what they're doing when they're using a browser. So maybe they disable it by mistake. And after you are telling them about, about it, now they can find a way to enable it again. Now that could be an entire tutorial by itself how to actually enable JavaScript because you can actually disable it in many different ways than ex other than the one that I just showed you, right. So I'm gonna change this back now to allow JavaScript, reload the page. And there you go. Now my theme toggling works again, right. All right. So um, oh, yeah, one more thing I need to add is that inside code pin here, we actually inside the body element. So you can add the no script element to inside the body, right, and you can add it inside the head, right, we're inside the body right now inside code pen. But if you add it inside the head, then you can't use text elements, you can only use I think it's link style, and some meta elements. But if you want to actually display text like we do right here, then you have to do it inside the body element. Okay, that's just uh, good to know. So yeah, I think every web website should have this. Uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have it right. I mean, if people have JavaScript enabled, they are going, they're not going to see this text if they have it disabled, then they will be made aware that, hey, you probably want to enable JavaScript to get the best experience possible. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope it has been helpful. And if it has, let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.